Hey guys and welcome to another Make It Monday. For today's episode we are going to be showing you how to make easy DIY bird feeders. To start us off we're going to go over the different materials that you will need for this project. First and foremost, you're going to need some bird seed. You're going to need a tray to pull, put your seed in. And then we've got some peanut butter, string of any kind. It can be yarn, string, twine, ribbon, anything. We've got some different um, paper rolls. We've got some toilet paper rolls, a paper towel roll. Elsie, you want to show them the spreader? We've got a spreader. You could use a spoon, a rubber spatula icing spreader, anything that you've got. I don't know if I showed you the scissors yet, but we're gonna use some scissors. And then I have some wooden dowel rods. You can use these, you can use any sort of stick that you have. These are gonna be a little mount for the birds to sit on. You can even go out and find some sticks in the yard if you don't have any of these. Make sure they're in some clothes that you don't mind getting a little dirty because they're gonna be playing with peanut butter and that can get sticky and messy. All right, you guys, so the first thing that you're going to do is fill up your dish with some bird seed. I've already dumped it in here. Um, you just want to put enough down in there that you can roll your toilet paper roll up. I am going to go ahead and cut this in half. So it's going to make two. I really probably could have even cut it into thirds if you wanted to do even more. I'm gonna go ahead and break this in half. So I'm gonna poke a couple holes and then I'm going to take the rod or the stick or whatever you have and you're just gonna stick it through like that and do the same for the other side. I'm also going to go ahead and poke two little holes on each side for the string. And so that is where the string is going to go. I'm going to go ahead and string that now. That way I'm not trying to fight with it when it's covered in seed. Wow. Wow. <laughs> is that cool? Next comes the fun part with the peanut butter. She's probably going to try and eat more of this. Would be my guess then actually use it on the bird feeder but we'll see what happens so you're just gonna take your peanut butter and we're gonna spread it all over this guy you spread it can you help me whoa is that cool oh yeah see my hands are sticky mess I want to make sure that you have some paper towels or baby wipes readily available. I'm just going to use my finger here because she took my spatula. You want a nice good layer. Good job! So that the bird seed will stick to it. Are you spreading it on? Good job. Once you've got a nice layer of peanut butter, you're going to take your roll and you're just going to roll it around in your bird seed that's in your tray. I'm going to take this bird seed and just really get it coated nice and good. Elsie's putting on a little bit of extra peanut butter love and that is a-okay. You're going to get it nice and coated. Elsie, you want to help me? I'm gonna put some bird seed on here. All right, so now that that is nice and covered, I'm gonna stick these dowel rods back in. I took them out. They're getting in Elsie's way. So I'm gonna have to kind of find my holes here. 
it's not too hard to find. So there you have it, your DIY toilet paper bird feeder. We're gonna make a few more and then we're gonna hang these up and show you what they look like. So this is what it looks like when you let your kid have free range over the bird feeders <laughs> and the peanut butter. <laughs> wow. Look at that, that's great. All right, so here are our finished bird feeders. We've got these bird feeders here in the tree. We've got one right there. And we've got one right there. We've got a little stake in the ground, a little shepherd's hook. And we decided to hang one. You want to show them, Elsie? So we decided to hang one right there. Um, because we have a window right there, that's where our kitchen table is. And so then we would be able to see the birds eating, potentially. The last one we decided to hang right here on the porch. Thank you guys so much for joining us on today's Make It Monday tutorial on how to make your own bird feeders.